What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another A to Z episode of ARC for you guys today and today guys we're taking a look at none other than the Uranio. Now the Uranio is exclusively found in the caves on, on the island, Scorched Earth. Uh, I don't think they spawn on Aberration. Ragnarok you can find them around the volcano area I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, these guys are found mainly in caves and uh, to tame them you're going to want some bug repellent. So we've got some more bug repellent here. You will need veggies for this uh, to make the bug repellent as well as a bunch of other stuff. Uh, we'll chuck it up on the screen for you guys to see. But nonetheless, you're going to need bug repellent and some spoiled meat and a full set of ghillie. Now, the way the bug repellent works is it repels the bugs. Now, it also repels onyx, which is really helpful for the cave because obviously you don't want to be taming up one of these spiders and then have an onyx come and ruin the tame for you. Now, these guys eat spoiled meat. That's their highest taming food. So you want to bring some spoiled meat. You will need the bug repellent to tame these guys. You will not be able to do it without the bug repellent. And uh, they are a passive tame. But you can see there we got way too close to comfort and uh, aggroed it. So you have to be very careful with these guys. So bear with us one sec while we find another Uranio to tame. There's a scorpion. Uh, any Uranios? Hello? Spiders? There are a ton of Onyx in this cave. I may have picked the wrong cave because it doesn't look like there are any spiders in here. There's just a bunch of scorpions. Okay, well, this was a mistake. Okay, we found a bunch of other spiders. So what you're going to do is you're going to walk up to them and passive tame them. Now, as you... Oh, that's a 145. As you saw, you have to be very careful. You're going to be very slow. The ghillie armor also helps with the effect of the bug repellent. But the, the main idea here is to get as close to it as you can, feed it, and just sit still. You can go prone, uh, and prone actually helps you tame it because it makes you a little bit less uh, noticeable. We do have our rate set to times three as well, so our taming rates is times three. So this obviously isn't the best uh, taming effectiveness sort of way to go about it. We should obviously just pump the taming, taming rate to like 100, but... It is what it is. It's at three. All you need to do, bug repellent, full set of ghillie. Uh, make sure you bring more than one bug repellent because it will take more than the 500 seconds, depending on what your rates are. Um, and spoiled meat. And uh, you can see it does have quite a bit of time in between feeds and uh, you do have to wait for it to be hungry again. Now, you can try and kite this into a trap to try and help you out. Um, it depends on whether or not you've enabled uh, cave building. So if you've got cave building on, then you can build a trap and kite these guys in the trap. It'll make things a little bit easier on you depending on how you build the trap. But uh, yeah, this is essentially how you tame them. Just bug repellent, spoiled meat, and just sitting right behind their butt, making sure that bug repellent doesn't wear off. Can we eat another one? You have to wait for your bug repellent to wear out. That could be a problem. So make sure you walk away before your bug repellent's about to run out. Otherwise, uh, you'll find that the spider that you're taming will try to eat you. Now, as well as that, make sure that there is nothing in the area that will aggro on you or the spider, because if it does get hit, it will lose all taming effectiveness. You can see, just like that, it's lost all taming effectiveness, and we've made it very angry. So, make sure that, uh, yeah, you're alone, you've got traps set up, or you've just made sure that it's a, a solitary spider by itself. So, its first use is you can kind of use it as like a, a portable bowler thingy. Now, you have the ability to use weapons on its back, so you can actually tame stuff while riding it. Now, it's obviously not the fastest tame, and if you come face to face with a Rex, you're going to be in trouble, but you can still turn around, slingshot it, turn around, and then run away from it. Now, these guys obviously aren't the fastest, but they don't actually have a turning radius. They're like the Scorpion, they can turn on the spot, which is really handy. Now, if you do plan on doing it like this, you will need a high level one, one that has a lot of stamina on it, because to fire your webs, right turn, run around, try and trank it, it's going to take a lot of stamina for your little spider. So it's going to be a bit tough for it to keep up with. So make sure you invest in one that's a high level. Has quite a bit of stamina and health, so it can be a bit of a tanky tank. But uh, yeah, you can pretty much tame stuff like this. Because the spider web does reduce the speed of dinos or creatures it hits by 50% for uh, 10 seconds. So it is really effective at like kiting tames into a trap or just kiting them while you run around. Now, like I said, you can also buff these guys in uh, movement speed. So for example, let's just go add experience here and we'll chuck it up to like a mad amount. There we go, that's the wrong inventory. There we go, we'll go some points in stamina and then we'll chuck some into movement speed. And also if you're playing on like a, a boosted server and the rates for movement speed and stamina are increased, you're gonna be having a cheery old time with uh, taming stuff up because you can just 
fire your webs off, and it does fire three at a time, so you can hit multiple targets. You saw there we were able to hit the Rex and the Kano, and this enables you to, to trank them. Like, you know, you can do that. Now, you can also use them as a portable base defense, and if you're able to hit flies, you can actually use them to take down flies. But, like I said, you can use them for base defense as well. And how you go about doing that, first we're going to kill our Rex, is these guys have a turret option. Is by setting these guys uh, to aggressive. So you change their stance to aggressive and you put like a bunch of weight on them. So we'll go stone a thousand. I don't think we can do that, but whatever. You make them really heavy. And then what that means is they'll pretty much be stationary and they still will fire the webs out at whatever it is that aggro's on them. So for example, you'll see this RG here. It's going to turn around and fire at it. So you can see there, it does fire its web attack out. It's not obviously the best base defense dino, but it is an option out there if you want to utilize these guys, because I'm pretty sure, like off the top of my head, aside from like, you've got the allies, they do slow you down a little bit, but the Arania is probably one of those only dinos that uh, is capable of slowing down players and creatures that much. So, I mean, I wouldn't personally invest in a bunch of Arania's to, to stick around your base on aggressive with their web attacks. Because it's, it's totally not going to be worth it. Like, it's totally... I'm talking in, like, very niche situations. If you've got literally nothing else to do on Ark, except go about taming up a bunch of Aranios to stick around your base in hopes that they fire webs at anything that decides to come around. Yeah, you're going to have a hard time. Because it's just... It's probably not worth it. They're still a little bit buggy. You can see there, he's not firing his web attack. So, like, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're bored, you've got nothing else to do, then knock yourself out. But guys, that is pretty much all there is about the Uranio. You could use it as like a kind of, like I said, a portable taming little thing where you're able to slow down whatever it is that you're taming with the web attack. But uh, there are much easier ways to go about taming stuff than uh, using this little spidery boy. But nonetheless, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next one.